Okay. Phew! Things have been quite hectic lately. Haven't they? MC, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time here. I would really hate to see you unhappy. Because I really do care about you, you know? I was getting darker, I know this. I don't like seeing the girls give you a hard time. I was getting darker, guys. <laughs> With how mean Natsuki is and everything. And you're already being a little bit, you know. Aha. Uh -huh. Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? <laughs> but it's weird, because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly spent any time together. Well, technically, it's only been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. Oh boy, getting dark, guys. There's just some things I've been hoping to talk with you about. Things that only you could understand. So that's why... Wait, not yet. Ooh. Things I like about Papa. I like when Papa comes home early. Alright, I was gonna... I'm gonna read over here, guys. <laughs> Cooks me dinner. Gives me allowance. Spends time with me. Asks me about my friends. I like when Papa... Asks me about anything. Gives me lunch money. Comes home before sundown. I like when Papa cooks. I like when Papa gives me privacy. Doesn't tell me how to dress. I like... Okay. Does it comment on my friends? Does it comment on my hobbies? Come home without waking me. Keeps food in the house. Uses his inside voice. Leaves my stuff alone. Accidentally drops coins in the couch. It's too tired to notice me. It's too tired to for anything. I like when Papa is too tired for anything. Okay. Both. Ah, oh, it looks like this is a new right here. I hate you with every inch of my being. That's not a lot of inches then. Yep, I know it's this though. Ha! <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Her eyes, though. Oh, man. Man, I need to find her out uh, at some point, one of these days. One of these days. Okay, let's check on Yuri, then. Okay, Yuri, hit me with your best shot. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! What's happening to her? Oh, let me see, let me see. Do it again, Yuri. Come on. Uh, okay, I'll go chat. Hi, MC. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought... Oh, shoot! Oh, your neck! <laughs> I brought my best tea today. Monica! I told you not... Uh, is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me. Why don't you always interrupt my <laughs> conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Look, I realized I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. So I'm sorry. A new member isn't so bad, I guess. As long as they are cool. And another girl could be nice too. Natsuki. Nobody cares. Oh. <laughs> Why don't you go look for some coins under the vending machines or something? Ah, uh. oh, man. I'm the last one he here again. Were you practicing piano? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, MC, what do you want to do? For what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could. We already have plans today. Ah, is that so? That's correct. <laughs> MC is engaged and they know what we're reading. Aren't you guys that have already gotten him into literature, Monica? Oh, man. Oh, God. <laughs> I suppose I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. 
Yes. Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. So, MC, do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. In that case, I'm gonna go get some water. Yuri stands up and exits through the door. Did Yuri leave you again? No, she's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Ten minutes pass. Is there something holding her up? I guess I should check. Alright, look for Yuri. Huh? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, right, so that's where I go, huh? Okay. I don't know why I can check here, right? Okay. Just curious. Nothing has changed here, so... Okay. Yes. Now it's the first time I've seen the hallway in this game. Oh no! <laughs> oh man! Oh boy! Oh crap! Hold on. Okay. <laughs> So I guess this is okay in Roblox? Yuri? Yeah. Oh man. The heck? <laughs> what the? I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. MC, do you like Oolong tea? Ooh, oolong. <laughs> you know me, I like uh, black tea. If you guys know I like bobo, bobo milk tea, man, that's my favorite right there, guys. I love it. Ah, yeah, anything is fine. Very well. As Yuri is reading, I pull out a bag of chocolates from my bag. I take a chocolate can and pop it into my mouth. <coughs> then I take another chocolate and hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in, in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. <laughs> eh. Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did, did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um, sorry, I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh, ah, Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I, I can't. MC. Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. Oh, what the? Ooh, MC. My heart. <laughs> My heart won't stop pounding, MC. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. Even if it makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Uh, uh. Wait. What now? Huh? Oh. <laughs> um. It's time to share poems. I thought I was gonna get jump scared or something. <laughs> I was like, she prepared for it. Oh no. Yeah, it's like I've seen this. But I'll scratch that again find a little of it anyways. Oh man, Gur, Yuri's eyes. <laughs> From the original game. 
Finally. <laughs> ah ha ha. Gary holds my palm to her face and takes a deep breath. I love everything about it. MC, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep this, please? Sure, I don't care. Ha ha ha, you're too nice to me, MC. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. And not really, but... I just don't know how to describe it. It's not bad, right? You already grips my palm tightly. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even add it to my fulfillment altar. Uh, it's like a related to like a demon something. Or <laughs> wait, is that, I'm just guessing. I don't know what this means. Uh, the way how Nasuki uh, said to Yuri, like demon something. <laughs> It'll make my rituals feel like you're here too. Ah ha ha. You can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. Oh! Ho, ho! I don't think I can read this, guys. Uh, no, Trey says I was gonna go slowly uh, read it down. You guys can pause it, so I'm gonna scroll down. I'll scroll down slowly. Alright, that's all of it. Oh! Her eyes. Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you were gonna tell, this one was about. Well, what? More importantly, I've used it in one of my rituals. It was a compassion ritual that brings you good fortune. See, aren't I the most awful person in the club? Oh. I, I... Excuse me. Oh boy. Oh, I need to put my fan on, guys. Give me a moment. Ah. Oh, I need to put on my hair. Just took a shower. I need to put it on, guys. I let my hair dry out. Once it dries, that's when I ponytail. You don't want to ponytail while your hair is wet, you know. Won't be good. There we go. Okay, let's do this. MC, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. It seems like she's kind of forging her ideologies onto you. You know that book you two are reading together? That's a book she wrote that's based on the principle of Satanism. Oh, yup. <laughs> I knew it! The way how she like, uh, showed like that, like, man, demon related stuff. I mean, I'm not here to attack her religion or anything, but she's manipulating you into it. That's kind of messed up, isn't it? Right? Now you're just reading the book, but if she goes on, next thing you know, you'll be summoning demons together or something. So, I just wanted to warn you about that. If you keep your distance, it might be for the best. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in my head. Anyway, I guess we won't worry about your poem. Yuri should have at least the uh, courtesy of letting you finish sharing it before taking it. Well, whatever. As for mine, I worked really, really hard on this poem, so I hope that it's uh, effective. Here goes. Jeez, that really startled me. The heck? <laughs> I was like, what the? <laughs> um, well, I guess I kind of messed 
up at uh, writing this poem. I guess uh, I was just trying to. Never mind. Let's just move on. I don't know what the heck was that, guys. What? You gave your poem to Yuri. Gross. What is it with you two? Hmm. It's not like I wanted to read it anyway. Well, it just irks me a little bit that you didn't even think to show me at all. Uh. <coughs> okay. I guess I'm going to share my poem with you anyway. I really hate that I have to do this. But unfortunately, I don't have much of a choice. Just read it carefully, okay? Then you can go away. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been, but well, there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean. But she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but um, push myself to suck it off. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. Uh, I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a the therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I've been... I know. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please, if you can do something to help, I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wanted us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. To let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Oh, I, I clicked. Oh, what the? I changed my mind. <laughs> I was like, what the? I clicked. I actually clicked, but yeah. I changed my mind. I was like, Monica is controlling Noski right there. You know everything, you just read. <laughs> There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, MC? If you would, <laughs> just spend more time with Monica. All these problems will go away. Yep, Monica's doing it, guys. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as beautiful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. <laughs> just Monica. Just Monica. Oh boy. <laughs>